everybody, my name is Captain Moore. Welcome back for another video of Dear Hester. We are moving in into the final, which uh, what should be the final video because it's the final chapter. So let's see what happens. Uh, on the last video, I fell to my death by accident. We saw a bunch of things, a bunch of beautiful rocks and colors all over the uh, this cave. And now we're about to find out the final answer of our life. Let's see what it is. There's got there's a camp right here. Okay, so we're moving out of the cave right now. Yeah. There's actually two places. Left and right once again. There's actual a uh, light over here. So I think this is the right way to go, so I'm gonna go left instead of right. I sat here and watched two jets carve parallel white lines into the sky. They charted their course and I followed them for 21 minutes until they turned off near Sanford and were lost. If I were a gull, I would abandon my nest and join them. I would starve my brain of oxygen and suffer delusions of transcendence. I would tear the bottom from my boat and sail across the motorways until I reached this island once again. Yeah, he probably would. We've got the, the main course over here probably. We've got another place we can go here. Let's see guys, let's see. Let's head out over here. What the fuck? Shit! Oh, hang on guys, I fucked up. Woo! Oh fuck, I fucked up again! Okay, huh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The narrator is like, come back. I'm sorry, boy. I'm like fucking up. I'm like dying uh, a bunch of times. I actually can't go there. Can I? No, I can't. I can't go there. Okay. So I, was, I, I was actually trying to go there. I couldn't. That's part of the game. You can't actually go there. Maybe you have to actually take this path over here if you want to go there. This the music, man, is kicking in. It's crazy. Oh, here we go. Here we go, guys. There it is. Oh, oh. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Here we go. The light at the end. Look at this moon. Really beautiful. Careful to not uh, <laughs> to not fall to your death once again. Already died twice in this video. Okay, yeah, we're going towards this place. We're going here. Looks like this is the main place. Where? What is this place? What is this? Music stopped. What is this place? It's a bunch of... I returned home with a pocket full of stolen ash. Half of it fell out of my coat and vanished into the car's upholstery. But the rest I carefully stowed away in a box I kept in a drawer by the side of my bed. It was never intended as a meaningful act, but over the years it became a kind of talisman. I'd sit still, quite still for hours, just holding the diminishing powder in my palm and noting its smoothness. In time, we will all be worn down into granules, washed into the sea and dispersed. Mm. So we are slowly but surely dying. That's what's happening right now. We've got this place. Like, again, mathematics. I don't, I don't understand that shit. Slowly but surely dying. Uh, our character is. 
and uh, we've got the light to accompany us right here. A place right here we can go at. A bunch of light, so there's actually something going on here. Okay, car stuff. We were on the car crash or something. This is the lighthouse right here. Look at this. I'm not sure where we are heading right now. Uh, I have figured it's figurative. There were chemical stains on the tarmac. The leak of air conditioning, brake fluid and petrol. He kept sniffing at his fingers as he sat by the roadside, waiting as if he couldn't quite understand or recognize their smell. He said he'd been traveling back from a sales conference in Exeter. He'd stopped for farewell drinks earlier, but had kept a careful eye on his intake. You could hear the sirens above the idling traffic. Yeah. Well. This is not going well. Where are we heading? I have a feeling we only have one place to go. I know I probably missed the place right there. But I won't go back. So uh, let's continue on our main course. There's actually a house here, right here. I can see my armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats. I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into 21 pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic. And I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. Okay. That's creepy. So, uh, all the letters. That's all the letters he, uh, he was intended to uh, send to someone that he cared about, but he uh, finally said fuck off uh, and he decided to float them as boats as ships on this little lake that leads to the ocean mm. trying to hide something maybe what is uh, this place can actually go inside On a sudden light from heaven shone around him and he fell to the ground. Why is there eggs? Fucking eggs? What? Makes no fucking sense. Alright. What is this supposed to, to mean? Eggs? Really? Alright. We're heading there. Why? I don't know. Are we heading to the water? Are we supposed to go there? Because there's no place, uh, no other place to go at. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna go there. So this is not the main road. This is a, sec a secondary mo uh, road. I was probably actually supposed to. Yeah, there's a kind of a sign over here. Actually, supposed to go to the lighthouse. Look at this. I took the. I took another pathway, guys. So I, I didn't make. I did not make a mistake. All right. All right. That's nice. We're gonna go back then. Actually, go back over here. Yes. Take the. Uh, take the stairs. Take the stairs. So it's gonna lead me on top, all the way or on top over here. We gotta go over here, yeah. Go all the way on the side and go to the lighthouse, which is the main course of this game. It's really beautiful. I really like this game. Uh, even though it's really short, which is kind of a shame. That is a really short game. The pain in my leg sent me blind for a few minutes as I struggled up the cliff path. I swallowed another handful of painkillers and now I feel almost lucid. 
The island around me has retreated to a hazed distance, whilst the moon appears to have descended into my palm to guide me. I can see a thick black line of infection reaching for my heart from the waistband of my trousers. Through the fugue, it's all the world like the path I have cut from the lowlands towards the aerial. Hmm. Yep. So... We're going off right now. There's a... There's someone here! I thought I was alone! Hang on. There's someone here! We're going to see someone? What is it? We're, I'm not alone guys! I'm not alone! There's someone else! This eerie music though. Who is this person? I've begun my voyage in a paper boat without a bottom. I will fly to the moon in it. I've been folded along a crease in time, a weakness in the sheet of life. Now you've settled on the opposite side of the paper to me. I can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fiber, the pulped vegetation. When we become waterlogged and the cage disintegrates, we will intermingle. When this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge and carves parallel vapor trails in the dark, we will come together. Eh, hey, whoa. Hang on. There was somebody here. I saw somebody. I saw a ghost, guys. I don't like it. There was somebody here. Oh, this is creeping me out. There was somebody here watching. And there is nobody now. What is... Oh, boy. What is this? And... Uh, uh, he was proceeding on his journey. All right. Oh my God! I don't. Uh, what? Well, where's the guy? I could tell, man. There was a guy right there. A ghost. Was this a ghost? Are they pranking on me right now? I don't like it. I can't I can't actually read some stuff. Some of those stuff I can't actually read. If only Donnelly had experienced this, he would have realized he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island, so he became his syphilis, retreating into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection. Shit. What's going on, guys? This is getting dark right now. It's getting really dark. No more sounds, no more music, just the wind. Oh, there's the music. Oh, 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 oh. there's a house right there. We gotta go up there, we gotta go up there. Bent back like a nail, like a hangnail, like a drowning man clung onto the wheel, drunk and spiraled, washed onto the lost shore under a moon as fractured as a shattered wing. We cleave, we are flight and suspended, these wretched painkillers, this form inconstant. I will take flight, I will take flight. Shit, I'm going crazy. I'm dying, boys. This is a bunker. Yeah. What is it? This is like one of those bunkers you would use in the World War II. All right. I've got a, an achievement for walking. <laughs> that if I got that in life. Danger. We'll go there anyways. It's 
kicking in, boys. It's kicking in. The end is near. The end is near. There's another house over there. I couldn't actually go there. Oh my god. What are we going to find in the lighthouse? Is this gonna be our death or something? I mean, I'm not much of an optimistic guy in life, but this is kind of... Uh, even for me, this is... Uh, Dark, to say the least. There's something over here I can't see. Oh, is this just stairs? Yeah, prob probably just stairs. Blind with panic, deaf with the roar of the cage traffic, heart stopped on the road to Damascus. Paul sat at the roadside, hunched up like a gull, like a bloody gull. As useless and as doomed as a syphilitic cartographer, a dying goat herd, an infected leg, a kidney stone, blocking the traffic bound for Sanford and Exeter. He was not drunk, Esther. He was not drunk at all. All his roads and his tunnels and his paths led inevitably to this moment of impact. This is not a recorded natural condition. He should not be sat there with his chemicals and his circuit diagrams. He should not be sat there at all. Jeez, this guy is pissed. You can see her, man. You can tell, man. He's pissed. Jeez. Into game. Oh my god. Where is this leading me? Well, we are. Uh, going on an unauthorized place, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this, the lighthouse is uh, really secured, there's no, no guards or anything, I thought I saw someone earlier but... I am the Ariel, in my passing, I will send news to each and every star. There it is. Dear Esther. I have burnt my belongings, my books, this death certificate. Mine will be written all across this island. Who was Jacobson? Who remembers him? Donnelly has written of him, but who was Donnelly? Who remembers him? I have painted, carved, hewn, scored into this space all that I could draw from him. There will be another to these shores to remember me. I will rise from the ocean like an island without bottom, come together like a stone, become an aerial, a beacon, that they will not forget you. We've always been drawn here. One day the gulls will return and nest in our bones and our history. I will look to my left and see Esther Donnelly flying beside me. I will look to my right and see Paul Jacobson flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland, where help will be sent. Am I gonna kill myself? Yep, I'm killing myself. Well, shit, boys. Talk about a dark game, alright. This is my last time, huh? I'm an eagle! I can fly! Bitches, I'm here!
this leading me? So this was the game guys, pretty dark game I, I must say, pretty dark game, uh, it's a really cool game though, the graphics, everything was really nice, the story was absolutely, uh, it's a 5 out of 5, it's a really, really good game, I recommend it for any YouTuber who wants to play it, or for any of you guys who wants to play it, it's, it's really not uh, a uh, it's really not a uh, high price, you know, it's a really low price. It's like $10 of shit, shit, not even $7. It really doesn't cost, uh, cost much. With a game like this, a beautiful game like this, really short, but a really awesome game. And uh, I think, I think it's by far one of the best games I played on my channel. And uh, to say this, it's not even, it's not even, didn't even took me like uh, one hour to do this gameplay, to do this game. And uh, uh, it's just wonderful. It's a wonderful game. Uh, short story, but beautiful. Uh, really uh, awesome graphics, awesome effects. Everything down to the bottom was made absolutely great that's a great game that's the kind of game that you want to play for the rest of your life uh so really five out of five and uh i guess that's pretty much it so uh remember to leave a like if you did enjoy this series and this video guys i'm gonna see you guys in the next one uh the next one's gonna be mafia 3 probably so keep it easy guys